Well, this is how we learn how to do stuff. Periscope teaches us how to do do things. Mm-hmm. Computers teach things. Be and careful it, with them if you're spinning them all over mm-hmm. the your nation. Okay, so this is much better. Okay, now we'll know for next time. See, this is why I hadn't done a cook, cooking scope yet. Just because I didn't. Well, it's a lot of work. You have to figure it out. You guys. We got the angles in here. The new, the new process here. And this actually works pretty good right here. So now you can cut and talk. No, you can eat a lot. It's not about the quantity. It's what you're eating. It's the quality, not the quantity. So here is our bed. Of, I'm going to pour out extra liquid. Here is now the bed of um, just it's just collard greens and uh, kale, as we saw, right? That is now what you're going to put your um, hamburgers on. So that's going to be what you have with hamburgers. No buns, no other, other extra fixings like that, okay? Now, why don't you want the buns on there? Well, the buns are just straight carbs and gluten. Okay. But um, it's tons of carbs, and you don't want to be eating gluten. You say, oh, the gluten-free. That's just another issue. It's a marketing issue. It's, well, yeah, it's going to be another issue because they made it with another product that's going to be just equally as bad for us in a couple of years once they realize, once they well, once we have it for longer, as we had gluten now for 20-something years or 30-something years. Okay, so what I like to do is save all of this water because actually you lose... A lot of the nutrients when you um, actually cook veggies or uh, greens, a lot of the nutrients are then lost in the water. So what I do is I pour this water into a bowl and we drink this. Jai Rich loves it. Especially when it's nice and hot too, because then it feels like a nice stew. I just drink it. It's really hot right now. Yeah, pass some. I'll come have some. I give it to Jai Rich. And all this is is a... Mm-hmm. Put your oh, tripod down. It'd be really helpful right now. <laughs> this is an exercise for her to learn how to kill her anxiety. She's trying was, to go through this maze. I didn't this try. Tripod. I did it. Well, so then um, that was that, and I, I clean. She just cares about me so much. She don't want me to fucking fall over or anything. It's just awesome. Anyways, I just want to have some of that greens, and now I'm out. Excuse me. I clean my dishes while I'm cooking. So then you're not stuck with a ton at the end. So like I just very quickly cleaned that one out because that one didn't require a whole lot of cleaning. Just a little bit of dish soap. Clean that one out because all we did was cook greens in it, right? And so not a whole lot of, I just cleaned it right now in the sink. It's as simple as that. People make dishes so big of a deal because they've let them pile up. I, I clean as I cook. So we got that pan done because our greens are done. Oh, I gotta oil it. Another reason why I clean them right away is these ones can tend to rust. So you gotta put a little bit of oil in cast irons after you clean them. So I can just add a little bit of, this is organic. This is a new one, it's not particularly my favorite, but it was all that was available when I went to Walmart. I tend to usually get Spectrum. Um, Or the Snapa Valley one, I think is another one, but this is just organic. um, Oh, that's Raiders 1967. He just said thanks. He loves the hat. Oh, cool. They sent him two because the first one, they, this is so great. They sent him two because one was off center, so they made another one. Oh, cool. Great. So he got two. Good. So he got two. He needs it. Just like you it ended up with two. I know. It's great. USA Organic. Those are the important things. And I like the edge, extra virgin. Okay. Um, I then use some sort of paper towel or a napkin to spread the oil in there, wipe off the lid. Now you say, oh, but you got the oil in your cupboard or whatever, Uh, you know, you get bugs. For this one, since it has a lid, I only oil it on the inside and then it's enclosed and so nothing seems to get in there. But for my other one, you guys see, I store it in my microwave because I, I, I didn't want like any bugs getting attracted to the oil or something. I don't know how other people will store um, their pans if they do oil like that. I don't even know if that's an issue, but I was worried about that, so I said, and, well, this one's got a lid, so I grabbed just the oil from there and I'm just oiling it. If you don't oil it, they will get rusty, the cast irons. So I oil it, make sure it dries off a little bit. 
and then I put it back in here because this one's enclosed, so the oil's only on the inside. And then I put it back. And my other one, I keep in here. Oh. Um, because we don't use our microwave. We do not use our microwave for anything other than storing my pan, storing um, food if Jedi Rich is, you know, if I've cooked it and he wants to eat it later. We use it as just like a, just to keep it warm. But we do not use the microwave. We do not heat up food. You should not heat up food. When you heat up food, it loses its all its nutritional value for the most part. A good portion of it. So if you have your organics and then you microwave it, you just kind of wasted your organics. <coughs> Excuse me. His son wears the other one now. Fantastic. Good. We got a Raider 1967. If you guys are on the YouTube, any of you, he's another one of the guys. He does a lot of the, uh, he does actually way more than the, uh, than we do of the Raider updates of the stadium. He goes out there every couple days. And uh, so we've seen him quite a few times, and so we know him. And um, we got these hats at SaJaiRush.com, and we wanted to get him one just because we felt like it. Because, um, you know, it's tough times right now. I think he just lost his job, too. He was working at, I think, at Park MGM or one of the casinos. So we just thought we'd do that. So he got him, and he said they messed up, so they sent him two. So one's for his son now. And we it said Raider 1967, not Jarvis. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 We didn't make him wear our stuff. But, okay, so this one is um, Logan. Like I said, all of my things are very important to me, and I'm very particular about them um, because the, everything is alive. Everything is made of organisms and molecules and atoms, so everything technically is alive and should be treated nicely. You know, people tend to like throw their stuff around. I do not do that. And I get on Jerry, she just put this on top of our record player, whose name is Victoria. She's a Victola. Victola, that's what I named Victoria. And, um, that I get the sense when it's things like that, the actual record player, like, I guess she don't want that. And you think you're crazy, but no, the thing's like, no, don't put shit on me, you know what I mean? Because they want to stay nice. They don't like when they get rings on them and stuff, if they're a, a beautiful wooden something, you know? And people think you, that it's crazy, but that when you, you, you feel it more with your car, people will get a sense with their car often and they'll name their car because it's so much money and they spend so much time in it. But, um, but all of your things should be that way. I'm very particular about all my things. So, here we go. There's another one of my particular friends here. Um, and this one, uh, Jai Rich got for me from um, Amazon. All of our stuff we probably get from Amazon. So, like, it, it, most of the stuff is pretty affordable. You know, you have so many varying levels of things you can get on Amazon. Um, we tend to, a lot of times, go in the middle on some of the things. We tend not to try to avoid the cheapest things. And most things, when I do get them, you end up with things like this. I'll show you. This Jai Rich is still mad about. He told me we needed spoons. <laughs> And we were, it was during this time, so I said, okay, I'll try to get the cheap ones. And look at what we ended up with, you guys. I don't know if you can even visualize this thing. It's like the flimsiest spoon you could ever have. I mean, you, to, to actually try to eat with it, like if you eat the soup or something, then, oh, okay, um, then it's just impossible. But anyway, so sometimes you don't want to get the cheapest thing. See, how great was that? You, you did great. No, you did great. We see it's a different level when you're kind of in another zone where shit happens. Yeah. It felt, I, the thing did fell I, and I didn't Did I knock it over though? Or did it he didn't fall? knock it over. See, that's, that's my point. Things are going to fall. <laughs> that's, our, that's the point of the Jedi. We have, I, I, so, oh yeah, so I was saying, so this one is um, Dow Strong. I don't remember where it's from, but it, it's, it's a pretty cool knife. Jeffrey's got it from me on Amazon. Uh, we got it on Amazon. Yeah, but I don't remember. I think it's from like uh, Germany. Germany, yeah, I think it's a German, German steel. German steel. It's really cool. And it's got that great lion on it. I like it. Yep. So this is organic garlic. I cook organic garlic every meal, like a lot of it. Probably more than you would be used to seeing in a meal. I put in every meal. And it's one of our, like, uh, uh, staples, in a sense, you know, because um, we do get some carbs from it. Um, so I just, if you don't know how to deal with a uh, full garlic, you first use your knife, push on the top. I'm not sure you guys' education on cooking, so maybe I'll do it very simple. And if you guys know these things, just know I'm doing it for someone that's maybe never cooked, okay? So we'll do it that way, because, you know, we're just, this is all simple cooking. If you've never gotten garlic, the best thing to do is to push, if it's too big of a thing where you can't, you can't push down on it, start to peel off 
some of the uh, of the outer part of the shelling, and then it makes it easier, more manageable. So I pull off the whole shell first, and I'm very, very particular. I do not like making messes when I cook for some reason. I, I just, I'm OCD. But so all the time I'm cooking, I constantly clean up. So I get all this stuff out of here. No reason, because these end up everywhere too. If you don't get them out of the way, they end up on the floor and they're so sticky. They're just a, such a pain to deal with that I try to get them in the trash as soon as possible before they end up everywhere. And believe me, they end up everywhere. And they're even hard to vacuum up because garlic's so then I start taking off each one of the things. And now I'm gonna, if this was a small, right now I don't have any small ones. They sent me all these big ones, which is fantastic. Sometimes you get really small ones where then you would maybe only, you would use, I've had to use two before if they're really small, but in this particular case, since this one's so big, I think I'm gonna use about this many. Would we have two, four, six, seven of them? I'm going to use about seven of these little things. That's what I'm going to use in my meal. No, you know what? I'm only cooking one pound, so I'm going to do six. And now the rest of this I'm going to save over here. Which I normally would have used this, but since I wanted to show you guys what I do, I'm going to save this for another meal. Okay? This baggie. But I use like six of these. Some people are like, that's a lot of garlic. That's what we do. Um, it makes it, it just everything taste great because you know such simplistic things. The garlic is one of the main components. If you don't like garlic, you should try to get used to it because it is so beneficial in so many ways. You have to read more about it. I don't know all the exact uh, beneficial facts. Like I can't just state them right here off the top of my head. But read about garlic, and you'd be amazed at the things that it can help with all kinds of things and it, it's just so helpful with any kind of illnesses if you're ever sick garlic is a fantastic remedy so I just am um, oh if you've never dealt with garlic let me show you you start you got to cut off the, the top and the bottom okay so just cut off the top don't matter if you do the top or bottom first and the bottom depending on how nice your garlic is some garlic you can cut it off and then it can pull off the remainder with it all in one fell swoop. This one's not particularly as great, but this is not as bad as some. This one's pretty bad though, but this one's kind of more sticky where you gotta then peel it off to get the rest off. But there's some garlic that when you cut it and when the thing, it just peels right off and it's beautiful. You cut it just two cuts and the thing just comes off and that, those ones are the best. I love them. I have, these ones are not particularly as good. Um, these are from Whole Foods, but even if you get them from Whole Foods, they uh, they vary every time. It's not the same, especially with organics. You're always going to see variations in things because it's real food. So it can't be exactly the same every time. Because that is what makes it artificial when they start having it be so consistent. So, cut off the top and the bottom of all of them. And this is, you know, so every meal takes a little time, which, you know, when you're working I can see is not you don't have that but especially right now get used to it and then you'll find yourself some other options maybe you can cook the night before and prepare some stuff for yourself in the morning um, and like I said you don't have to do the beef you can do other meat options but I almost threw out the garlic instead of the, <laughs> instead of the trash there um, but I personally, for me, for whatever reason, what I did to my digestive system of being uh, bulimic for 15 years. So I uh, first was anorexic when I was very young, um, like very young, like six or seven years old. I started, you know, uh, really being conscious of that and, and watching what I see because my mom was, of course, that way. So I learned very young and um, I started drinking co coffee when I was five. And so then I did... I first did laxative use. I don't know if you guys know much about this, but that's a form of bulimia that people will eat, and then they take laxatives to make themselves go to the restroom, because like, you think in the hopes of that you won't gain weight, but instead, that's like the worst way to go about it. So I did that first. Then I became a uh, vegan. I wanted, I thought that would be a good option because at first I wanted to do it because it made it more difficult for my mom so she couldn't make me eat certain things, you know? So I'd be like, oh, I can't eat that. But then I really just got into doing that diet. But um, the longer I did that, the fatter I got. So then I became a full-on bulimic. 
to where I just ate and threw up everything. So now these ones are very sticky. They're not coming off very nicely. Some of them come off so beautifully and you're like, oh, it's wonderful, but these ones are like sticky. Um, it also helps if you actually keep your hands wet. So let me wet my hands. If you're dealing with sticky garlic, if your hands are wet, it's very helpful. Um, Anyways, so then I became bulimic for 15 years, up until uh, 2015, and I struggled with it uh, through 2016, where I still kind of went back and forth, and then since 2017 now on forward, I have uh, not been bulimic. And people, I think, still don't necessarily believe that, because most bulimics um, don't recover. And the reason they don't recover is because they tend to try to still eat the things they were eating before, and I absolutely cannot do that. As you see, I eat such an extreme diet and I cannot eat the things I used to eat. I used to love sugar. I was all about frappuccinos. I get like several frappuccinos a day. Oh, that was my favorite thing ever. Um, I do not consume anything but water for beverages now. These are This is mineral water from Mexico. They're awesome. I also like the Gerald Steiners that come from Germany. Those are my particular favorite, but they're hard to come by these days. Okay, so now I have, what do I have here? Six still. I wasn't sure if I, I sometimes have to cut off a couple of pieces because you'll get the parts that are kind of rotten. Don't, don't keep that. You know, people have this mentality of um, don't throw away food, that put it in your body instead of throwing it away. No. If the food is getting nasty or getting rotten, the last thing you want to do is put it in your body. Think about that. Why do you want to be the human garbage can? Throw it out. Waste the food instead of putting food that's not good inside yourself. And even organic food, when it gets too old, is not good because what happens is the fungus grows on it. And you want to avoid that. That's how you get more candida overgrowth is eating old food. Um, because they just start to grow as soon as something gets a little bit old. So I then just chop these up. Um, this knife is, is good. I don't, I don't even sharpen it forever. It could be sharper. But, you know, it doesn't have to be that sharp, but make sure it's sharp enough so you can cut it, you know. Um, but, um, you know, some people are all about having the sharpest knife to where, you know, they just can cut it really, really fast. I, just, I don't really care about it. I just kind of do my thing. But I just uh, chop this. Can, you guys can see all this. I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, whatever. I'm sure I just set it up right better than when I tried. You guys saw the wall, so I'll leave it alone. <laughs> the reason why we don't point it towards me now, I forgot the other reason, um, is because the camera is not as good. So your selfie camera is not as good as your other camera. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. So when you do a selfie, it's not as good a quality as when you do it the other way. Um, but everyone likes doing selfies. <laughs> but it's actually the, it's a lower cam quality camera that Apple uses for the front facing camera than for the back one. I'm not sure about, maybe other phones are different, but I'm talking about Apple. Okay, so I've chopped this up pretty good. Um, this is organic garlic. Remember, I cook all organic, everything organic. Um, this guy wants to jump off my board here. Okay, so I normally uh, uh, would do two pounds for a meal. This would be our breakfast. We have not eaten yet. We haven't eaten since last night. So we don't snack or anything. We just eat meals. So we ate dinner last night, and now we have not eaten. I normally probably would have cooked... Oh, no, it's only 6.30, so yeah, this would be about right. I keep thinking it's later in the day. I'm really thrown off. I normally cook around between 6 and 8. Okay, where's my pan? I got my pan over here. I need to turn on. I turn my pan on. Okay, our... Ovens are not the best in these weeklies, so I I put mine up to seven and a half, which is really hot. Uh, but I want it to just be getting really going hot, so I let that go. I should have turned it on. I normally would turn it on while I'm cutting my garlic, so then I could just quickly put my garlic in my pan. But I was talking to you guys, so let me get the beef. So once again. Once again, um, I, I like the, the high numbers, like 90 and above, for your um, percentage for your beef. If you guys don't know what that is, it says right here, but if you still don't understand, it's saying 93% is actual meat. 7% is just fat. So when you do ones that are 80-20, you're only getting 80% meat. The rest is just fat. So that's not a very good grade of meat. 
So you want your higher number is actually a better thing. That's why they tend to be a little more expensive too, the higher number, because you actually are getting more meat. And you're just paying for fat when you get the lower numbers. And sometimes I have to and it's not available and I hate it. Oh my God. And it's so, oily. so I do not add um, any oil when I cook. The only oil I have in the pan is from the night before when the last time I cooked when I oiled it. Remember like I did with the other? Same thing, so I do not add. So this has, a, I can see it's glistening from the night before and I stored it in the microwave. Once again, we do not use microwave to ever cook anything. Microwave is just for storage and a timer and a fan. <laughs> That's it. Um, so now I got this warming up and I got my garlic cut. I normally would make two pounds. That's what me and Jedi Rich will eat uh, for a meal. He does, he eats from five to six of the little burgers that I'm going to make. I eat from two to three. So if I eat two, he eats six. If I eat three, he eats five. That's how it works out. So depending on how hungry I am, it depends on how many he gets because I make two pounds. There's eight burgers available. And then, because... It, uh, it, I just give him, you know, the, the lion's share, but once in a while when I'm hungry, I'll eat three, but three makes me feel pretty full. It's like, that's a lot for me. And I used to eat copious amounts of food when I was bulimic. Like, you would not believe the amount of food I could consume. It was unreal. Like, if you saw, like, me, how little I was, and then the amount I could put in, because that's what bulimics do. But now, two burgers, and I'm good. So this is getting pretty warm, so we're going to take our garlic... We're gonna put it in the pan. I put it to the back. Okay, now this is, okay, this is, it should still work. I put it to the back of my pan because of the way my pan gets hot in certain spots. You'll learn as you cook, you'll learn your kitchen and your stove. Some stoves have certain spots of the pan will cook different than other spots of the pan. Some spots will be cooler. Depending on just how your burner is. Unless you have, a, you probably have a really good stove, then it's fine. Once again, I'm over here. I'm going to clean these off real quick. I know you guys can't see me, but I'm not going to mess with them. I'm over here cleaning to keep it to be, keep it nice so when I'm done at the end, I don't have a big, big collection of dishes. So I'm cleaning my knife and my cutting board as we have that warming up. Okay. Multitasking here. Multitasking keeping everything clean so at the end you are not stuck with this mountain of dishes on top of everything else. So now I, I wipe off my knife, really good to keep him nice, and I'm putting him back in his little sleeve here. Okay. Now I cut these, I find that's the easiest way to get into these packages. Uh, and if you've never used these, what I do is I push down first on the meat like push it down so it's not you know right at the top so then you get a good spot to cut and you're not cutting through the meat and then you just cut off the top there throw that out then I lay it on its back and I cut the other sides around like this so now you have basically your meat very accessible to you right then all I do I don't like focus on making perfect patties I reach in here and I, I flip it in half and flip it in half again. And I have two squares. And I plop those in the pan, right? And then I do it again, flip it in half, two squares. These are our burgers. Pretty good size. I mean, these are quarter pounders, right? Jairus can eat six of those in a meal. And the, I can eat three. And this is the size of our per meal. Um, let me then wash the meat off my hands. That I always get off my hands. I mean, not one thing. It's very slimy and just feels icky. So then I put on my timer. I put a timer for 20 minutes. Just because otherwise I just forget how long it's been going. I, I, time is very weird to me. <laughs> so I'm so, I'll do, so I take my spatula and then I push down so I don't put those squares, remember? I wish you guys could see this. How could we? Maybe I can even move you guys over here. But I then push down, I'm going to bring you guys over here, on my burgers, right? So I have four in here, I'm going to bring you guys over here. A little bit. We're going to come over here, a little bit. Since we've moved. Let me, let me maybe flip you guys and see if we can do it this way, a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to do it like this a little bit now, okay? Because I want to show you guys a little bit what's going on over here. So we have... Now, 
the four patties in there, right? And our garlic in the back. Okay. Okay, so now what I'd like to add to those patties, I usually like to do rosemary, but I'm out today. But I also, I, oregano, this is organic too. Even your seasoning is organic. I had to move them now to show yeah, them a little okay, bit of food. It. Yep. Um, I like rosemary. What do you need for this one though? Oh, I just moved it just now. Okay, let me get good. this one going. Good. Yeah, I just moved them just to show them my. Okay, good. Because I came up here to do. They told me to come over here. So I literally just moved them to show oh, the patties like two seconds ago. Sweet. So it's perfect timing. So I just break off the oregano off the leaves. If you don't know how to deal with this kind of these things that come in the packages, all you do is you. Let me give an example of one. You take the part. So see how the leaves go up. You pull back from the up, and then it pulls them off the vine very easily. See, so like you just pull down, and then all the leaves will come off the vine from the bottom. Like you just, you know, you just pull them off the vine. It's very easy, and then you throw out the vine. You don't know how to deal with rosemary and oregano. You don't want to put the vines in there. So you want to pull the leaves off, but they just, they just slide right off, like that. Um, okay, so now we're done with that, and then I like to use organic, Time, which this one I'm almost out, but actually I have a backup. Look at this. I stocked up. Make sure we got it. Make sure you show this yeah. camera too. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting. I have two cameras. This is the one I have to upload it and have to work with. Sure, I keep forgetting. Darn it. I got my time. That's okay. Here, bring them back out. Let me get a couple shots. We'll yeah. do on this camera and then you don't have to worry about it. Let me bring this out because this is actually almost gone. So we Just leave in the light there and I'll zoom in on it. Okay, I'll come back to this. Okay. And then I also like organic black pepper. Everything organic, even your all your ingredients. USDA organic. I mean, it, and when you take organic seriously, it comes down to everything organic. So I sprinkle a little of that. And did I sprinkle my thyme yet? I can't remember. I'll add a little more in this case. I didn't. A little thyme. Now these are about ready to flip. So I'll show you guys what they look like. I can't do that other camera right now. But okay, ready? Here you go. There you go. These are now about ready to flip. So we're going to flip them. Look. Oh, let me get a shot of that. Okay, there, that's good. Okay, go. Now we're going to flip them. Oh, look. These ones are almost too long, but they're, all, they're pretty much perfect. But they were almost to where we burnt them. Just because I was talking. Turn down. I say, now I'm going to turn down the five. I only start high on the temp. And I come down later. Look at these guys. They got pretty brown. Look pretty good though, don't they? Oop. There we go. Don't those look tasty? So, those I almost... <coughs> now, we're going to season both sides. So, we season the other side. Now, since we flipped it, we're going to add a little bit of black pepper on this side. Organic, organic, oh, yeah, and a little bit of thyme on this side of the patty. Because now we're on the other side. Remember, we started on one side, now we flipped it. Now that's the last time you're going to season. You only do it on each side. Don't keep seasoning. That'd be too much seasoning. They're very, very, very peppery. Very peppery. And you don't want to over season. Now, all we're going to do is just watch these. Uh, and we're going to start to now move the garlic out of the back. Because we're going to be bringing the garlic out of this pretty soon. Because the garlic cannot stay in the pan the whole time as the burgers. Why not? You could cook your garlic separately. I just think that takes more time. So I do it this way. The garlic doesn't cook for 20 minutes. That would, that would burn, burn the crap out of your garlic if you cooked it for 20 minutes. Let's tell you what. So now what you want to do is you want to start getting the garlic out of your pan. But what you'll find since you don't oil your pan is your burgers stuck a little bit. But that's a really good thing because if I can demonstrate to you guys, everything that sticks is this wonderful, like, tasty little, uh, like, goodies there. And since you're using cast iron, you can scrape your pan because there's nothing, there's no lining that you would worry 
start off by scraping your pan if you were using like a Teflon pan. So all of this good stuff here, this tastes delicious. It's like the crunchy part of the burger here. It's all like the little crunchies here with the garlic. This is so delicious. This is now in making this tasty taste. Well, I, mean, I was showing them. Okay. 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 And, uh, okay, cool. So I can't see it from here, but you guys do the same thing over here. Okay, one so more you, time. Well, Hold you on, wait till I turn the camera on, and you get it rolling. That was blocking the whole time. Okay. Okay? So you get this wonderful, tasty stuff here with your garlic that's got a mixture of the, the meat that had stuck to the pan. But with the cast iron, you can use the thing and scrape it. That doesn't hurt a cast iron. That's the beauty of a cast iron. You can use a metal spatula, scrape the crap out of it. That, that, they don't mind because they have no lining on them. The reason why you normally don't do that is you ruin the lining of your pan. Cast iron, that's not a concern. It has no lining. So that's one of the beauties of a cast iron pan. You really get this wonderful stuff that you would normally probably lose because you wouldn't want to scrape that off your pan because then you would ruin your pan. I don't know if you have a mother or a stepmother that was crazy about their pans. My stepmom would freak out if we took metal to any of her pans. Um, but you can do that with cast So now I have this garlic that is, is cooked. So I want to get that out of there. So I take, remember, my bed of organic kale and garlic here. Uh, let me get, I'm going to, this is going to be, you know what, I'm just going to have to put the one, because remember I normally would do two pounds. I'll never one pound, so I'm just going to make it for Jerry Rich, and I'll just eat a little bit of his, so i got to get to Walmart. Normally, we would have eight burgers going on here, but we only had a pound, so I only have four burgers. So I'll probably just eat one and give him the three, and then I'll, I'll get the rest after I come back from the store. Um, but now I want to take this garlic out and put it on top of his bowl. Of uh, This is organic collard greens and kale. So I just scoop it into the bowl like this. I put it on the edge here and scoop it into the bowl. Okay. Like so, grab, I grab it all, get it all out of the pan because the more this stays in there, the more you're gonna burn because it's the garlic that'll burn. So get it out of the pan as much as you can, but you can get a lot when you use cast iron. I was thinking you just scrape it all out. And this is very, very tasty too. Jarvis, this is one of his favorite parts is this tasty little goodness from the garlic. And uh, it's got garlic, the seasoning, because remember we added oregano in there too. It's got the little oregano and little chunks of the meat. So it's just so tasty. I mean, I can't describe it. You have to try it. Now we got our little burgers cooking. I keep them on five until about, well, when I'm only cooking four, these are going to cook a lot faster. These are going to cook faster than 20 minutes. When I cook eight, it takes 20 minutes. These guys are going to be done sooner than we think here now because if you cook only four, you can cook faster. It's not about, because like I said, with the pan doesn't cook completely evenly, so you gotta keep rotating if you have a lot of them in there, but when you have only four, they're all getting pretty evenly cooked, so they cook fast. Um, so if you are single, um, just cook yourself probably a pound, it might even just be good for you anyways. If you're real hungry, cook yourself two pounds. You could, as an individual, eat two pounds, especially uh, when you're first starting this, and you would still lose weight. And it seems like a lot. Now, um, these guys, are, we're just gonna keep flipping them. Uh, I, I, I just, I just kind of sense how, how I just kind of try to listen to the pan because what'll happen if it's too long, you'll start to hear the pan sizzling. So that's a really good in here, but sometimes that's a little too late if you're waiting for it to really get going. So just kind of, you'll start to hear it as you become, as you cook longer, you'll just kind of know when to flip them. But no rhyme or reason to it. These guys are almost done. And we're only at about 10 minutes, and they're almost dead because I only cooked four of them in the band versus eight. But if I did cook eight, it would take a good 20 minutes for them to cook. So these, these guys are literally almost done. Um, now, beef is not as important to cook all the way through as chicken. Chicken, you cannot eat raw. It can make you very sick if you eat raw chicken. Beef, you can eat pretty raw, like... Uh, depending on the quality of it too. Beef, you can get away with it being pretty raw. Um, but chicken, uh-uh. So um, just cook beef to your to your flavor that you like. Cause like that's how it was steak. Some people like it really rare. Other people like it really well done. 
But chicken, you can't serve really rare, because that's just... <laughs> and you don't want that. And when it's still pink on the inside, that can make you sick. So these guys, if you don't know if they're cooked, if you're in question, all you gotta do is cut one open and take a look and see what you got going on the inside. These ones are cooked, like I said, because I'm gonna turn this off then. Since we um, only did four, they cooked really well, really quick. See that? So now, see, the, is it cooked all the way or do we have, yeah, I'm just looking, really, I'm gonna leave mine just a smidge longer to, you know, for the preference of someone's taste, but they're, they're, per, they're looking very good to me. If you're ever really in question and you don't want to eat them, just cut them all open. Maybe I'll even do that for you. Well, no, these are, these are not pretty good. But you can make them then into smaller things. These are like, I call these burger bites when I do the small ones. But these guys look pretty good. So we're going to um, finish this off here by putting it in the bowl. Yep, these ones are done. So we're going to just plop them in the bowl there. Um, you got these two little burger bites. And now, like I said, we would normally make two pounds of this. So we'd normally have eight burgers. I would do two or three. Jedi Ridge would do five or six, depending on how many I eat. Then I also come and grab all of what's left in the pan and put it in here. Because all of this is wonderful. It's all good nutrition for you. It's organic. It's delicious. Use it all. Put it in your pan. And now we like to eat with chopsticks. We found that for one thing, you'll eat... Um, slower and that's a problem with a lot of people uh you know especially if they're overcoming some kind of eating disorder they'll eat too fast Put that in there. save every little part and um so this is jedi rich's breakfast but normally he would have more than this normally he could eat five to six of these you know i would eat two to three um now right away after you cooked if you do have a cast iron best way to avoid having to do a whole lot of things. Get it in your sink right away, soaking. Okay, get it soaking. Then, you'll hear it, even when it's real hot, get the soap and the water in there, let it start soaking. And that'll really help with the cleaning. And then I just start coming around, just do first little cleanup of just the, you know, the, the dirty stuff that you see right away here like your food, get that off right away, especially if you have any kind of bug problems, get that stuff out of there right away. And you can even get to the rest of your cleaning later, but get that main food products off the stove, get that off of there, you know, cause that's where, um, you know, we have a uh, tendency to have cockroaches in Las Vegas. We haven't had it really in here cause that, we've been keeping it really clean, um, but we have had that in the past with some of our units really bad. So um, we did have some ants. I had an ant problem because of, we have this great crock pot we just got. It's absolutely fantastic. We make this is what we uh, do our um, organic bone broth, and um, we actually just found out this one we just got. You can actually cook with it. You can. I could have made the burgers in here. We just got this one because it's actually got like a very shallow, shallow thing to it, so you can use it for cooking uh, things like it goes. So we just got this from Amazon. It was on sale, it was like half price. Amazon's great because it, it, according to if you're not super particular what you want, like if you're like, okay, I'm just looking for a crock pot and I'm just gonna look at their options and then you'll find one that's like half price. So we gotta make sure all my things are off. Sometimes I forget to turn off and turn off my timer now because uh, we did not use the full time. We only did, um, about 10 minutes for those four burgers. And here's what they look like. I don't know which cameras that I rich has going on here, but those are the burgers. And I eat two to three, so two to three of these, that I rich eat five to six each meal. And that's what we eat three times a day. And like I said, sometimes we have variations where we have stew, if it's available, um, if they have other stew meats, which they so rarely have, like um, just like uh, a beef stew, like where it's the chunks of beef, then we get that. But that is so rarely available anywhere anymore because as people choose the conventional options more than organics, then there's less organics because the stores end up losing money on the organics because people don't buy it and then they have to throw it away. So if you don't eat the organics, then they'll buy less and less. 
And speaking of buying, I need to go get some more beef. Um, and Jairus just came back. Right here. They're going to have beef. Right, I'm in here. Hold it up for me. In the yeah. light. Back up a little bit. Oh, right, right here. Perfect. 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 Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing here? Very good. You hold that. I want to get this real quick. I want to show everybody the studio. Your kitchen studio. Jedi. Mm -hmm. So, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it looks like here at GoodRidge.com. <laughs> it was all enclosed. That's what I was telling him. He was bringing, he was going to knock the stuff over. That's what I was saying. Here you go, and then here was breakfast. Normally it'd be even more, too. That's so. it. I did, I did it because they're perfect. Good. Your call is good. You have to make sure you... you I'm going to be showing that thing and stuff so I can... So for so those? I use cast iron. And this one is my lodge. I got this from Amazon. Uh, I love it. I had heard not to use cast iron um, a lot in the past. Oh, here's our delivery. Here's our... We're getting that water. Carry it. Oh, man. I was going to try and meet you downstairs. Sorry about you that, bro. Carry it up. It was like I was going to try and meet you on that one. I was going to try and meet you downstairs for this. Oh. So you didn't have to carry it out. Sorry, bro. Oh. Okay, I'll just drag it in. Okay, show me. Right Put it on the floor. Put it on the floor. I'm going to have you show well, you're gonna, you're doing it. Gonna, it's going to break. So I, I want you to show everything. Wait, hold on. These. These are... Um, Sparkling water. These are really good. They're uh, mineral water from Mexico, but they come with the top that you have to pop. The top, which is like super fun. You feel like you're having like a cola, like back in the day, you know, which I do not recommend drinking soda, but you know that that sensation that people used to enjoy, um, but now you can get it in the sparkling water. So we got these actually from Amazon Fresh, but it was, it's been, I've been trying for about a month to order these. And I couldn't get a delivery window. So they finally had one. They had one from 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. And I couldn't believe it. I think they added windows because I've never seen an early window like that. Not too bad, but we've been looking forward to these ones because these ones are really good. And you can only get them some places. Like, I only see them at a couple stores. I saw them at, they have a lot of times at the gas station. And, um, yeah, I don't, oh, and um, Sprouts has them. Sprouts in the gas station. Those are the only like stores besides so online. So that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna start here with. Um, so I like to use cast iron. I'd heard in the past not to use cast iron because oh, it, it you know um, I'd heard about like that people didn't like that. I this one person gave this presentation saying that all this stuff came off of a cast iron skillet. She was trying to sell her. I uh, think. Oh, please don't put that on Victoria. She don't look like that. Um, thank you. Uh, our, we have our things here. They're, they're particular. Our, that was our record player right there. She did not like to have a water on her. Her name is Victoria. Anyways, your things are alive. So this is Lonnie. This is my friend Lonnie. And they, Lonnie has made a lot of meals. With me, but I um, really like cast iron. And I think they're the best because they don't have all of the linings that can then come off and get in your food. So I use this, and this is what I use for my, this is kale, this is organic kale. I have just a bunch of organic kale and organic um, um, uh, collard greens in the fridge. And so I just break it up. This is going to be my base. This one was the kale, this one was the organic collards. Um, they, uh, um, both organic, and um, I just, break it up however much, you know, to kind of fill up the pan here. I'll put the rest back in here. And you all will say things like, um, wash your hands or this or that or, okay, we lived in a cave and I have learned that Washing your hands is one of the worst things you can do when you use that antibacterial soap that everyone's doing because then you actually lose all your good bacteria, you dry out your hands, all kinds of things. So all this nonsense of everyone saying, wash your hands and that. One thing I, what I do is I'm someone that cleans, so I'm all, I'll always have my hands in the sink cleaning, doing dishes. I do dishes all day long, but I do not go and just wash my hands with, with soap. I don't do that. 
You can call me dirty. You can call me whatever. I shower several times. All right. Take a bath once a day, and I get in there and rinse off several times a day. Um, and then I... What? <laughs> what? Oh, I know. Isn't that ridiculous? I love that. I was looking for the, the thing. I love it. And I uh, and I and do dishes all day. I love but I did not just sit here and wash my hands uh, with and bacterial soap. I think that is not a good idea. And I have found that we've been healthier less we've used antibacterial soap. Do you agree, Jarich? Remember we stopped well, once we went into the cave. We stopped doing that, and because we didn't do that in the cave, and uh, we were like, "Wow, you really people overthink all this hand washing because there is a good amount of bacteria and things that you need." And when you clean that all off, now you actually are more susceptible to get the virus because you are lowering your immunity because you need the good bacteria. So all this nonsense and then wash your hands when every two seconds and for 20 seconds, I think that's baloney. Now you guys can, I'm sure the doctors will tell me facts or that's their lie, whatever. It, you know what? I don't wash my hands to the level they say and I am doing great. So you all do what you want to do. So we like spring water. Uh, we don't use the tap water here in Vegas because it is not good. It is just not. I mean, it's not. I would not recommend drinking it if you come to Vegas. It not, doesn't taste good and it's, got, it's not good. They don't recommend you drink the water here. So I just put a little of this in with my kale and collard greens. This is just going to be the base that we're going to put the hamburgers on. Because um, we don't do buns or anything like that. This is just burger. I'm going to put this on, um, I maybe could do a tiny bit, would that be too bad? That'd be okay? Would that be okay? Can everyone still hear me or is that just too much? Okay. Yeah, I just don't, I hope the alarm don't go. Oh, he's leaving the door open. That's true. All right. Okay. What happens is, you know, things drop and then this guy might start smoking and then the fire alarm thing goes off. So if it goes off in the middle of the scope, oh well, we're just going to go with that. So I don't need to turn that on yet. I'll put this, I always do mine on M. I just put it on five. I know some people do like really low, let it go forever. I just, I just let it go and I keep an eye on it. Um, I'll put it on some medium there. And um, I just use my towels as my, you know, uh, whatever those things are. Pot things, I don't have the, I don't, I don't have extra stuff that we don't need. Um, okay, so now I'm going to be cutting garlic. So, Jarvis, I think we need to find a new angle. Okay. Because I'm going to be moving we'll be like this. So we got our greens going, and now we need to start cutting our garlic. I'm going to put this back in the fridge as we are okay. cutting garlic. So where are you going to be? Well, I'm going to be... I think it would be best if they were here at this point, because I could talk to them like this if there's any way. Is that not possible? Yeah, we can do it that way. For just this pork, actually, probably for majority. Yeah, actually, let me grab that meat now and take that back out, and we can push them back there, maybe. Okay, that's, now we can because push them Because now I'm going to be cooking like this. Now the lighting won't matter because you're facing the lighting. Is, okay. So now you face yourself. How's that? Okay. Yeah. So let me push you guys back here. Because now I'm going to be working right here. We're not taking any negative off of this. Okay. Yeah, so then, that should probably. Now work. for this one, a little bit like this. Yes, it's a little awkward to do the cooking stuff, that's why we haven't done it yet. This, oh, maybe this light should be maybe not right behind it. Would it be better if it was not yeah. glaring, glaring right in? Not to death. I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not to death. I'm a grown man business. I'm not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm a jail, my deeds with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. Like I'm still a day old, and it's been like that since the day, yo. On more time than a Rolly or Seiko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down. Get down. Get down. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out, check it out. Check it out.